and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Hen shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivar. Son of of kings, conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived a saga worth ten. That I have. That sweat-sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. Ivar's men waste no time. They're eager to pay out our revenge. I am ready. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Ivar. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate. Show yourself! I am here, boneless Ragnarsson. How is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son. You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert. Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Grofood. ...and meet the dragon that will devour you! I see a spent old man... ...playing at serpents! Enough talking, Ivar! Bring the oil cart and set the fires! When I am done with Rodri... ...I will tear the fat from his shanks... ...and use it to fry our bread! Get the cart, boys! We will light it up in front down. of the gate! With me! Get the wagon to the gate! I sent soldiers to the cart! Bitch Thank 
Sin a Diablo. Get back. I am the permit.
through there. God grant me strength. Yes, you are the way that Protect the king! Hey! Can't do this alone! Help me with this! Rodri! Your dragon has arrived! Ivar the Boneless. You make a pitiful dragon. I felled the rotting old oak. He's not dead. No. I have something else planned. Spectacle, remember? He's nothing now but a sad sack of flesh. Kill him and be done with it. Oh, no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place and a method. Come. All right. Let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Abel, do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rotary. Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view, one fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die. No, no, no. He must die with style. How are you 
doing, dear king? Stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, and now King Roderick. Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just finish me. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri, are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak. But as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. Bring him close. Over here! Hold him up there, to the top. ...and keep him breathing! Finish this quickly, Ivar! See here? A hungry blade. Now comes the dragon... ...to feed on his favorite meal. The Blood Eagle! Ivar, is this...? The birth of a Blood Eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. That is a Norseman, the true essence of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He's doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. between good and evil grows thick over time. But glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs, and we spread them like wings. I can see him now. I've seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Viking who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell! You are battle drunk, Ivar. Goodbye. For Chelbert. If ever. When? I 
that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. Then, nothing. You sick fuck, rot. <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny. And become king killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was... Like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkist, to a glorious death! This is the life, Eivor! To fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! <laughs> sense of menace when i stab guria you wince you cower in the face of sudden drama Younger days, you would be dead by now. Bleed like jailbird. Bleed like jailbird. Ah, like the old days, yes. When iron bit into flesh like teeth into bread. Bleed like jailbird. Hold a moment, Eivor. Let me ask you something. Valkyrie's approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me open. Eivor! Give it here! To Helheim with you. Carry the body to Quartford. We will say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Abba. Tell him... ...his brother is dead.
Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Abba. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final... Were it not for this peace... I killed him. You? After peace was made, Ivar murdered Chelbert and pinned the crime on Rodri to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? Death at my hand was his final aim. He wanted the glory of a bloody end. An end? You did not deny him. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharat. Say that her husband died by treachery and that Ivor has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Cheowulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be Elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I am grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. One sails into a singing glory on a flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Ivar gone. Shropshire an ally. I should confer with Rambi.
one begins a long time ago at a desert oasis. Far away. Pleasure. We are allied with Shirovshire, but at a grievous cost. Young Chailbird was killed. Yes. Such a tragic death for so dubious a gain. I hope you paid his killers back in kind. Justice was done. Chilbert will be remembered. He was good company in the short time he was with us. He was. Have you spoke with Hytham about Vindland? I have. Good. I have marked it on the map with a bit of guesswork as to its location. Let Hello. I want to see the Alliance map. Tell me more about Kent. Basim has written, claiming to have found the woman Fulke and asking for your aid. He has taken shelter at St. Hadrian's Priory. Any news of Sigurd? Nothing he mentioned. But if he has found a paladin Fulke, Sigurd cannot be far behind. I will go as soon as I can. Good. Be safe, Favor. Basim has news of Sigurd. I should find him soon. Cast about this land, my friend. Did not Augustine make a distinction between faith and understanding? What I mean to say is, faith is paramount. Yes, for without it, Christ's sacrifice means nothing. He died to save us, did he not? From the original sin of Adam and Eve? Yet evil persists. Yes, evil persists, because he gave us free will. Does a newborn babe, slain by a despot, have free will? Yes! No, I mean... That is too simplistic. Or the priest, whose heart is torn from his chest by the wolf? Judas, who was predestined to betray the Nazarene? Some argue Judas was used. Do my ears deceive me, Brother Hortbert? Do you question the scriptures? Declare Judas an innocent? A preposterous blasphemy! No, no, uh, that is not what I said. <laughs> Brother Cedric, am I not the most pious of his servants? Out! Out! Making new friends? A person's tongue gives you a taste of their heart, Eivor. And such information is often useful. And how do these sallow Christians taste? It was only a figure of speech, Eivor. And I have tired of it already. Is this how it must be between us? Of course not. I'm grateful that you have come. So what of the joy kang of Fulke? In your message, you say you tracked her to Kent. She is here somewhere. And as of last month, Sigurd was with her. But there is no guarantee this will be the case tomorrow. 
So, what is your plan? We are deep in their god's heartland. A heathen and a heretic. To hunt Fulke, we'll need a Christian snare. Fulke is hardly a saint herself. These Christians abhor her strange ideas. True. But unlike us, she can carry herself as one of them. She won't hide from everyone. Not with a prisoner in tow. So, where to begin? I've made a friend. Abbot Kunevert. Full of pious fire. But with ambition that far outweighs his wit. And what does your friend Kinnebert know? Come, I will introduce you, and we'll hear the full tale together. Have you found some peace in your time alone, Basim? I am always at peace, and never alone. I move among the people of the world with great joy. I watch them, study them. Learn from them at all times. This is our duty. The Hidden One's calling. You know, for the first time since we met, you sound more like your apprentice than yourself. <laughs> Surely Hytham sounds like me, if I have taught him well. Your creed and your tenets, you mean? That's right. And our sense of, how should I say, deep responsibility to the betterment of mankind. That's quite an ambition, but it doesn't explain what you see in Sigurd. My brother is not so generous. Ah, but your brother is... someone special. Important. And I want him to see that. I hope to show it to him. Is this not a blessed plot? God's own country. And this Eden should be given to his servants to tend. Abbot Cunibert. This is the Norse I spoke of. Ah, yes. And quite a fearsome one at that. Basim says you know the paladin Fulke. Indeed. The Lady Fulke passed this way not more than a month ago. We talked, we drank. Very pleasant woman. And where is she? Eivor will be your axe, Abbot. Whether to fell a tree, or hew the limbs from an enemy. What have you promised him? Oh, just a trifle, Eivor. A little problem I believe you can help me with. Speak your terms plainly, Abbot. I'll decide if the bargain is worth my time. Ah! Your wolf shows its teeth, Basim. Let's cut to the point. What favor would you ask in exchange for Fulke? Some weeks ago, our elderman in Kent was called to God. A terrible loss. King Alfred has chosen his replacement, but has not yet announced the name. I must know it. Now. All of Kent will see soon enough which thane he has chosen. Why not wait? I want early access. To woo him, before his exalted position is made public and every fool is at his door. Who else knows the chosen man? The King's emissary. Sent with a letter of congratulations to the new Elderman. Intercept him, and bring me the news. When I know the Thane's name, we'll discuss how I might win his favor. Why not kill him in secret and petition Elfred for the seat? As a man of God, I cannot. Besides, he who stands behind the throne can better pull on the puppet's threads. This emissary, how will I find him? Tunbridge Monastery sent word that the King's men always pass a few nights in their hospitality. Begin there. I'll get the Elderman's name. You'll find Fulke. All in good time. Now, if we're done, I have business up the south coast. Falkenstone has the best fish in Wessex. Then I will find you there, when the Elderman's name is mine. Cunibert is ambitious, but well-connected. We will not find Fulke without him. I suppose we'll see. What will you do? I'm not done playing with these Christians yet. I will see you in Falkenstone.
Alfred's emissary spend a few days here. Someone may know it. Hello there. I hope to see you again soon. Until next we meet. Leaving already. I'll see you later, friend. If Alfred's emissary spend a few days here, someone may know where he went. You trying to catch flies, or would you ask something of me? I'm looking for a man. He passed through here on the King's business. Oh, bugger off, eh? Or I'll call the guards. I'm oh, sick of people. You need to heal your own ills. How about you help me from the goodness of your heart, and then I'll leave you alone? A wise move, Mudwit. It so happens I did see Alfred's man. He's long gone, though. Maybe Gowan the Bard knows where. Where will I find him? Well, he was pissed as a newt. Last I saw, he was passed out in trees between the arbor and bridge. Oh, now go find someone else to vex. There was a bard drinking with the emissary. I should find him if he knows anything. What do you see, Sunan? That ale swamped scob can't have gone far. Stole my troops. You there, you alive. <laughs> Patience is a tired horse. Plod -de plod plod. <gasps> Another tottering teeth sucker who can't hold his drink. Let's clear your head. Are you the tail weaver? Gowan the dandelion. For the seeds of my stories flit upon the winds of Wessex. But why, mule, do you kick my noggin? You and Alfred's emissary were drinking in the tavern. Tell me where he went. Were we? I was so ale addled. Perhaps a small and silver thing upon my palm might help me recall? How about something long and sharp in your gut? All right, no need for that. You paint a vivid picture, Dane. He was headed to the white coast to the southeast, Dover Fortress. He said it is where they train those religious fanatics, zealots. They pray all night instead of sleeping. My thanks, and in return, wisdom. Too much beer piping will grow a fool in wit and words. My thanks, Weaver of the Obvious. Now leave me to my unholy punishment.
The emissary made for Dover Fortress on the southeast coast. A fellow adventurer need to know the lie of the land? My price is... All right. Right. Let me show. Good day. What is your name? I am Eivor, of the Raven Clan. And are you a flighter? When the mood strikes. Do you wish to flight with me? Oh, no, certainly not. I don't engage in such things. Haven't the head for it. My brother, however, he is quite proficient. Ah, then you wish to compete with me. I should mention, my brother has taken a strict vow of silence. If you wish to fly, I will translate and relay his verses. I think I understand. Good. Hark! To those gathered round, wave your hands and rejoice. I shall trounce this poor fool without use of my voice. Such is his challenge. Do you wish to face him? I'll happily challenge you. Sorry, him. Here you are, my bet. Good. Now remember, it is not me you are flighting. I am but a conduit for his words. I will keep this well in mind. Good. He is ready. Come you closer, friend Eivor, and lend me your ear. The most cutting of flights from my mouth you'll not hear. But by proxy, I'll call you a milksop and boor. Though you speak through another, your flighting's still poor. Your body is withered, your garments absurd. I'll topple you over with nary a word. 
I'm devoted to flights, though to silence avowed. You're a simpleton and a fool, and you should never be proud. Your visage is ghastly. I'm cowed by your stink. I should like to write more, but you're not worth the ink. So, a last parting phrase. You're as dim as they come. With such drivel to see, I see why you keep mum. Very fine work. As an impartial observer, I must say you won. Thank you. My brother has a few parting words. You have bested me squarely and thus won the day. So take what you've earned now and hurry away. I will. Farewell to you both. Over. The emissary is somewhere here. Perhaps I can find the letter without bloodshed. The Bard said paladins trained at this fortress. This will not be an easy fight. Jesus, what's happening?
soon. If I could steal the letter without killing the emissary, it would keep me out of trouble. Stop you! Who interferes with the king's business? Guards! Alfred's chosen elderman is a thing called Tetmund. The abbot Kinnebert will want to know. I should meet Bassem and the Adam constantly. 